Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, so we have been really busy in the last couple of weeks with um, the rats and um, I apologize for this clip right now. Um, it might be a little bit dark. I didn't want to bring in the bright lights into the bathroom when I was uh, filming them here. So if you guys saw my video from two weeks ago where I did um, adopt the two baby rats and brought them home, um, I'll leave that link on the screen somewhere. So if you haven't seen that yet and you want to go watch it first, um, let me do that if you would like. Um, but uh, that same day I did bring them home, I decided to go ahead and get a cage, a different cage, quarantine cage um, for them. So I just wanted to make sure I was quarantining um, the two new rats the, in the best way that I possibly could before um, introducing them to the to the other pack. Um, so I did go out and buy a different cage. Um, it was a KT by KT uh, rat home cage and oh my goodness I really hope that no one like uses that for like you know a cage for their rats because it's very very small and I actually felt really bad I kind of felt bad keeping the two babies in that cage because it was just so small but it really worked well very well to quarantine them properly in a separate room and away from the other rats um, I also went ahead and during that week um, I took the new two rats um, and actually we named them Teddy and Simba. Teddy is the Dumbo um, if you guys can tell and then Simba is the other one. Those are the names we decided on giving them and uh, we went ahead and took them to the vet and I just wanted to get them checked up make sure that they weren't sick or anything like that before I did start introducing them to the other rats um, so that is what we did and everything worked out perfectly fine they are totally healthy I was able to get some footage going to the vet um, that was actually the first time I tried filming at a vet's office. It's quite, I don't know what it is, but I feel so awkward filming at the vet's office. And um, I usually never do, but I really tried hard to, to do it this time for you guys. But I sadly <laughs> turned, it, turned the camera off at some point. I didn't get that much footage. Um, maybe next time I'll try, <laughs> I'll try a little harder. But um, yeah, it was kind of difficult to film in there as well because I did have Elizabeth with me as well and it was just like so much going on. Um, but I did try and get a little bit for you guys while I was there. <laughs> Welcome for us. Just okay. a little information about you okay. and them. Okay. And someone should be in here um, as soon as they can. Okay. okay. Thanks, son. So after um, a couple of weeks and knowing that they were healthy and everything was fine, I did go ahead and start the introduction process, which took a little bit as well. Um, right here, these clips that you guys have been seeing throughout, they're actually in the bathtub and they had already been introduced. Um, this was like a couple of days after um, I went ahead and put them in a larger space together and they seem to be perfectly fine. They all actually really, really enjoy each other's company. Um, there was no fighting or anything like that. They all just got along right away and started cuddling. Um, obviously there was some, you know, sniffing at each other and, um, all that stuff. But other than that, the process or the introduction process went really well. 
and they all seem very, very happy to be together. So that was really exciting news. actually brought the cage out because I really want to um, clean back in that corner. I need a vacuum because sometimes the poops like to fall behind the cage and stuff like that. Um, but I thought I would just kind of bring them out. I do want to clean their cage um, again today. So that is what I'm going to be doing here. So now everyone is actually in the cage uh, together. Everyone seems to get along very well. There hasn't been any issues or fighting, anything like that. So I actually went and ordered a couple of things um, last week. It took a while to get here for some reason, um, but I really wanted to try this. Um, it's actually for birds. It's like a foraging toy. So this is kind of what it looks like and it comes with these bolts so I can kind of, you know, hang it from uh, the side of the cage. I've seen a lot of people have something similar to this. I hope that it will keep them busy. I'm gonna, you know, put some food and treats and things like that in there. Um, so we're gonna try this out later and see how, how they will do with that. I also got this little, it's another bird toy, it's a little ladder, and I actually thought it was going to be a lot longer, but no, I think I had ordered the small one, um, but I'm still going to try and make it work. really want to order some ropes. So that is something I'm probably going to do next time is look for some ropes and to put in their cage. And then I got a, another hammock off of Amazon. They actually have some really nice ones off of Amazon. I'm really, I'm kind of surprised. This one comes with these little hooks right here and I thought the pattern was really adorable and on the inside it's like really, it's really soft. So I would like to also put this one in their cage as well. The noodle is drinking. Hello. Hi sweetheart. So the two new rats, um, right back there, if you guys can see them, yeah, of course it's not going to focus, is it? Yeah, I know. Try and move that and see if it'll, there we go. Yes, I know. So right back here, um, that is Teddy. So Teddy and Simba are still very shy with me. Um, we're kind of working on that. Um, all of the other babes are getting uh, used to me now. So that has been really exciting. They do like to come up to me and be petted. So it's been, it's been a process, but we're definitely getting there. Also, apparently everyone likes to go underneath the fleece and sleep under there. Um, it doesn't matter how many <laughs> clips I put around, um, they still find a way to get under the fleece. I have seen people use like tiles to put like in the corners or something like that. Um, so actually thinking about looking to get maybe a couple of those. But yeah, we got a bunch of babies underneath here sleeping. And then I think someone's under here too. So it looks like Noodle is the only one that is up and about.
Hello. Time to eat. It's just a little bit later. Um, I'm actually feeding them their lunch. Um, we got some cooked oats, some peas, because they love peas, <laughs> and then uh, some blueberries and just a few Cheerios. Tonight they're gonna get some chicken with beans and some cooked potatoes. So that will be for later though. I'm really sorry about the glare, you guys. I kinda just, I kinda got the cage right in front of that window. So the lighting's probably terrible. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and finished cleaning their cage. Um, I hung the, I hung the foraging toy right here on the side. So. Uh, in a little bit, I'll probably fill this up. I'll probably save that video for next time though because I think this video is probably long enough for today. Hang the hammock right here. Are you scared to come eat? I'm sorry. <laughs> come get some. That's Simba. I'm still very shy with me. And then down here, I went ahead and put that little bridge right here on the corner. I really didn't know where to put it because it's like super small. Um, but yeah, that's where I ended up, um, hanging it, and next time I need to get a longer one for sure. Come on, I got some num-nums. Come here, Bobo. Do you smell something too? Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this week's video, and I will talk to you all very, very soon next week. Bye!